pipeline version 1.2 contains a new graph to position a booster pump. The new graph will be explained with a practical application, which makes this also a great training video. We'll get started with opening a PNP project file, which we already populated for this tutorial. On the pumps tab, you can find that a cutter suction dredge is selected with an underwater pump and a discharge pump, but is also a third booster pump. The pipeline length for pump 2 is set at 20 meters, which practically means that the pump is installed on the deck of the cutter suction dredge. All the fields are already populated so we can press on the calculator button. PNP automatically moves to the results tab. Select the pipeline pressure profile. The pressure after pump 3 is more than 1600 kilopascal. Let's assume that the design pressure of the booster pump is only 1000 kilopascal. From this graph, we can learn that the booster pump has to be at least 1200 meters from the cutter head to keep the pressure below 1000 kilopascal. Now go back to the pump step and increase the pipeline length from pump 2 to 1200 meters. Again, press on the calculator button and select pipeline pressure profile. Pump 3 is now 1200 meters behind pump 2 and the outgoing pressure of pump 3 is smaller than the design pressure of 1000 kPa. The incoming pressure is approximately 300 kPa, so the booster could move a bit more downstream. Incoming pressure for the booster is typically plus 100 kPa atmospheric pressure to avoid any cavitation. This allows the booster to move another 200 kPa downstream from the existing booster location. The pipeline pressure profile gradient is constant, therefore we can use the gradient of 100 kPa per 200 meters, and the booster can move to approximately 1600 meters behind pump 2. Now let's get back to the pump step. Increase the length to 1600 meters. Verify our finding by going back to the result step. The incoming pressure for pump 3 drops below 100 kPa. Therefore, 1600 meters behind pump 2 is too far downstream. Now let's reduce the length to 1500 meters. Go back to the results tab. And now the incoming pressure is more than 100 kPa. This means the booster pump has to be located in between 1200 to 1500 meters behind the cutter suction dredge. It might even be better to get a booster pump with a design pressure of 15,000 kPa, such that the booster location is more flexible. Position of booster pump is tricky, but PNP makes it relatively easy to find a range of locations. We hope that this tutorial enhances your use of into dredging pumps and pipeline program.